Uh, you know, it's uh, a credit to you fellas that you do support the uh, Geelong District Football League, Country FM, a great station. And, uh, you know, it's great for local footy. It's just um, gives some, you know, the, I know my wife's working today at an old folks home and she's tuning into uh, for the old people. So they'll have them all cheering for us up at Fifth Allen. Oh, lovely. And your lovely wife's name? I don't Sharon. Know. Sharon? Yeah, you. Well, a special cheerio to Shaz. Oh, I have met her you. before, but it's been a while, Johnny, so right. uh, we'll yeah. have to have a recap at some stage. That's exactly right. We'll do that, uh, Ron. <laughs> uh, actually, someone was asking about you the other day, a lady that drinks champagne. She was... Uh... <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. That's all right, Ron. <laughs> OK, well, now let's have a look. This second quarter, Johnny's brought was by the Geelong District Football League Bingo Centre, another fine organisation supporting GDFL football. And, uh, well, as we see here at quarter time, Thompson, 6-7-43, 40-point letters over North Geelong who haven't kicked a goal yet, John, and they're fighting for their life here to uh, actually try and consolidate their fifth spot in the ladder. They certainly are. There's been a few changes. We've uh, got uh, Naylor on uh, Dale Menzies now, so uh, Witterson's in the ruck as he was early. And, uh, you know, they've made a couple of changes and uh, they really are. In, we've got Cummings on uh, Lunchbox Gardner. Uh, Winger Smith still at centre forward. They seem to be starting someone very loose down in the back line. I don't know whether that's the way to go or not, but anyway, Arthur Hodgson knows what he's doing. Ball comes down here. Gardner once again with his ex explosive pace runs the ball out of, out of bounds. So, uh, you know, yeah, North Geelong really do need to win today if they're going to stay in the finals race. Yes, certainly. And, uh, well, time was going to tell now as we've just started the second quarter here. Wooderson takes the ball out of the ruck. Handballs it out. North Geelong on the burst. Great smother from Christian Highland. Back again it comes. Weiss takes the ball. Handball over to a North Geelong player who kicks on his wrong foot and does a good job because it stays in. It looked like it was going to go out of bounds. Burke attacks the ball fearlessly. Off to Highland. Highland runs the ball in front of him, picks the ball up on the boundary line, gives it out to Evans. Evans, poor handball over to Berkey. Berkey picks it up. Widow's in there and uh, uh, made contact with Highland's uh, head with his boot, but it was only an accident. So uh, Highland's having a bit of a rough day of it there. He's got his nose plugged up, I see. He gets the ball, but he's a fearless player. Uh, it won't worry him. No, it's certainly not, and uh, uh, the, the panel has obviously worked on. It certainly has. Noel Hooper bounces it down. Good knock but once again by Evans, who handballs to Gardner. Gardner over to the rubber man, and back again to... Off he goes down right, through the centre half. Yeah, good play. Plugger's in front here. Uh, Swinson's uh, got the ball. Good tackle by uh, Cowan. Swinson's run the ball forward across the half-back line. In board to Hutchison. Hutchison gets... Possession of the ball, but unfortunately it goes out of bounds on the outer side. Great chase, Cowans. Yeah, great chase by Mark Cowans. Mark Cowans is a very, very good footballer and been a great pickup for the Thompson Football Club. Ball comes in from the boundary up by Justin. Justin has uh, tried to knock it out. The North Geelong player along the outside uh, gets the kick up to Naylor. Naylor's playing in front of Evans uh, of uh, Menzies. Handball smothered by Menzies. Good job. Terry Nankerv is absolutely chopping everyone here. He's doing a great job. Gets two possessions in a matter of metres. Handball back to Aitchison. and is oh. good enough to clear the ball through the centre. Long kick down to full forward. Cowan's now with a big chance. Good play there by the North Geelong defender. Number 20... I don't know who it was. Five, yeah. It was Skoko. And, Skoko. and Skoko. But he didn't hold the mark after getting in front of Cowan's, which was great work. Now, tell Lunchbox, he swooped on it yeah. like you wouldn't believe. Like, yeah. like a seagull, the fat. He's just missed to the right side of the big sticks. One point, the, uh, the result off the boot there of... Uh, Andy Gardner doing a great job. Kicked two goals too, his personal tally so far, Johnny. His explosive pace gets him to every contest, whether it be uh, to uh, get the ball out in his own or whether to rove off the packs. He's just been really good for us, uh, Andrew. And he doesn't train much uh, during the pre-season, always has half the year off and then comes back. Big long kick in, but uh, <laughs> McFarlane gets his hands on it. Out it comes again. There's a bit of a pack up here and uh, the umpire calls for a bounce down. OK, three minutes gone of the second quarter. Judy FL Bingo set the scoreboard. 6-8-44, Thompson, three points, North Geelong. Bounce down, uh, the Ruckman go for it. Evans again gets a clear knockout. Comes out in the direction of Burns. Burns holds the ball in. It's kick clear of the pack. Evans again gets it in his hands. Handballs it out to Gann. Gann breaks clear. Right, a left foot kick, which was fairly ordinary off the side of the boot, and the ball's out of bounds in the Thompson forward pocket. Yeah, time clock just ticking away early stages of the second quarter. It's in the left to forward pocket as Johnny Mitchell 
the president of the Thompson Tigers, assisting us in the call and doing a great job here this afternoon, has just mentioned boundary throw-in. We've got uh, Smith in front, does a good job, gets it down the ground. Loose ball sees, uh, looks like Burns swooping on it. Quick hand pass out. Didn't quite carry that to Malcolm Key on hands and knees. Taps it forward straight to Highland. The blind turn. The hand pass was OK. JJ, he, uh, his hand pass not quite as effective. A clash of bodies. Dan Kerbis and uh, that was the action also there in Shane Burns, who's very hard at it. There's been a great tackle there by Burns and rewarded. And Johnny, not sure about that one. Well, I think that I think he should have been pinged for holding the ball. JJ had three weeks to get rid of it and didn't know what to do. Anyway, the ball's been kicked out to Swinnison. Swinnison's kicked it sideways again to Hutchison. He's getting a bit of the footy, Hutchy. He's a good young player. Yep, sir. Uh, we've got uh, Ricky Humphreys on the mark. Uh, Hutchison looking to come inboard here, but there's no, not many options. They don't uh, don't appear to be. There doesn't appear to be too much movement on the uh, North Geelong forward line. And he's still holding onto the ball. I'd say kick to Naylor. Naylor's broke free and a good mark. Good kick and good mark. Dale's going to have to tighten up on Naylor because he's a very good player. Uh, ball's kicked to centre forward where there's uh, Shane Withers is just about at his head torn off again. Plays on, handballs it out. Umpire calls advantage. Timmy Gardner handballs. Once again, Aitchison running through hard from centre back. Gets control of the ball. Hutchison's in there again. Gets it. Uh, handball over. Timmy Gardner doesn't know what to do. Yes, he does. Give it to Terry Nan Curvis. That's what we say. At Thompson went in doubt. Give it to Terry, and he gets out of <laughs> oh, heavy well traffic. <laughs> Kicks it to Shane uh, Withers. Withers grubbing kick bounces over Christian McFarlane's head. Timmy Swinnison grabs hold of the ball. We've got Ricky Humphreys on the burst. Kick with the left foot over to. Oh, he's over to Dale Menzies. He's playing on the half back line. Squares it up, and who does he kick it to? That man Nan Curvis. That's what we say out here at Tigerland. Gee whiz, that was terribly loose. Uh, yeah. Uh, Terry Nan Curvis's man, I think Shane Burns has uh, got yeah. a task on him now. Was 20 metres away, and uh, you can't afford to let uh, Terry Nan Curvis 20 metres. Well, one good thing about Terry is aerobic capacity is sensational. He just runs at the one pace. Bad kick of goal, Terry. It looks like it's screwed off the side of the boot from 20 metres out from <laughs> another point. But his aerobic capacity is very, very good, and if Shane doesn't uh, run with him, Terry will find space for himself. Good run then by Dale uh, Menzies uh, down the ground. Uh, He's ended up in the forward he pocket. He has, yeah. Good to run down the ground, but got to run back just as hard, uh, Ronnie. 6 9 45, Thompson, North Geelong, three points, and time check. Bannock Boone Sporting Trophies, time clock, six and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. Ball uh, getting ready to come in from the North Geelong players. Thompson people are zoning up. Long kick to the uh, right half back flank. Dan Curvis under the ball. Good uh, spoil from the back uh, by North Geelong. Loose ball. Uh, ball. I think there's a bit of a trip there, but it wasn't paid. Lunchbox Gardner again with his superior pace on oh, a left-footed check side there, uh, Lunchy. Out it goes to uh, Ian Evans. Ian Evans handballs the ball, dropping the ball, the umpire says. I think he handballed it, but anyway, that doesn't matter. The umpire didn't. Umpire's on the wrong side of there, John. Yeah, I think he might have been. North Geelong kicked the ball into Hutchison, who's getting a lot of the footy, who plays on. Across the half-forward flank, kicked into Naylor. Dale's going to have to tighten up on this kid, because he can play. Uh, good lead there by Burns. And a good mark. Just hold on to him, Mickey Gand. Holds him up. Good mark. Probably 30 metres out in the right, on the right half forward flank and really should score from there. Yes, uh, he's got a, a slight advantage of uh, what breeze there is, John. I think you'll find it's favouring the, uh, the Port Arlington end of the ground, but uh, very little to speak of. So uh, distance shouldn't be a problem. Shane Burns comes in. Nice and direct right foot kick. Runs towards the oh. pocket and that's where he kicks it. I can't believe that. He's ran straight out to the uh, coach's box. Maybe he wanted to tell Arthur Hodgson something. And <laughs> kicked it out there. A bit of a worrying sign here, Ron. The Seagulls have come in. <laughs> I think they think the game's over. I think they've swapped the donut in. <laughs> <laughs> they have. Given it to Burke to kick out. He finds Shane Withers. We're getting this ball away from the back line too easy. Shane Withers comes down. Kicks it up in the air towards Terry Ann Curvis. Who spoils Burns. Gets the kick. And over the shoulder birds, and there's a little bit of roughing up going on there. But anyway, Terry and Curvis handballs off to Shane Withers. Shane Withers and drops a high tackle there, umpire, if you don't mind. I don't know what's happened. Nothing, I'd say. Ball's gone out of bounds. Noel Hooper, he probably, uh, he just warned the North Geelong player about the tackle. There was nothing in it, I suppose, just a little high. OK, ball now. Centre wing. True centre wing at Godfrey Street, member side of the ground. 
Widdison now doing battle with Evans. The bulk of Evans, terrific. Dumps the ball 30 metres towards Thompson's goal. Overrunning the footy there was the lunchbox. Allowed his uh, opponent there in Hennison, but his hand pass is an absolute shocker. And, ooh, yeah, one of the late assistants there, there uh, from David uh, Tajani. And it's being spoken to, too, by umpire John Davies. Well, but if they speak to them, Ronnie, shouldn't they pay a free kick? I would suggest, yes, they should. Goodness me, that's two in a row. Bounce down. Left half forward. Thompson to attack. Timmy Gardner at ground level. Terrific. Over the top he goes to Withers. Left foot kick to... Oh, good work, Cowards. Just great anticipation. I the think two he... defenders from North Geelong were flat-footed. I think you'll find Mark Cowards has just hurt his leg in that... Uh... Lurch there, just the way he limped a little bit. Let's just see if he kicks it. I reckon he might recover pretty quickly. <laughs> he probably will. <laughs> uh, Cowan comes in. He's, what, 15 metres out, 45 degree angle. Left foot kick. And he circumvents and he has done his leg, uh, Mark. He's, uh, has he or not? He's coming straight well, off the ground, I he's think. He's kicked the goal. He's kicked the goal and I think you'll find Mark Cowan might have done a hamstring. He's come straight off the ground, Mark. That was a good passage of play by the Thompson players. Uh, Directly uh, created by uh, Shane Withers, who got a scrubbing left foot kick uh, to the centre of the goal square, and Mark Cowan's anticipated uh, that very, very well. But it's a bad blow for the Thompson Football Club if he comes off. On for his first run is Jamie Backwell, who's uh, quite an accomplished player in his own right, Jamie. My word, and only for the fact you've got so much depth here, it would be very unlucky not to be in the uh, starting 18. He certainly wouldn't. His uh, girlfriend, Simone, does a magnificent job in the canteen. Some, Absolute uh, delight, that young lady. She is a, a delight. Uh, the ball's been bounced down, but I think it's gone flat. It went three feet in the air, and the umpires <laughs> recalled it. OK, score check. Judy FL Bingo set a second quarter scoreboard. Thompson, 7-9-51. North Geelong, right. four points. And, uh, well, the Tigers roaring out of it. The Magpies hit this afternoon around 17. Judy FL match of the day here at Godfrey Street, the home of the Tiger, on Country FM. Noel Hooper comes in to bounce the ball down once again, and this is a crooked bounce for the... Advantage of the Thompson players, McFarlane. No, there's been a free kick paid here. No, it's play on. No one knows what's happening. It's been kicked down where Smith, who's at full forward, places himself in front. Lunchbox Gardner again on the right foot and snaps a beautiful goal. <laughs> That's the that goal of the day. magnificent there. Uh, there was a good tap down from uh, McFarlane. McFarlane, to, uh, who was paid a free kick, advantage was paid. Uh, Timmy Gardner had a hold of the ball. He put it down to where Winger Smith backed into the full back, brought the ball to the uh, ground, and Lunchy Gardner picked it up and snapped truly on his right foot. Magnificent play. Scoreboard for the GDFL Bingo Centre is 8 9 57 Thompson to four behind four points North Geelong. Well, let's just wait and see now what happens in this next bounce on by John Davies. Good bounce. This time, Robertson on the ball now for the North Geelong side. They're going to spark it up at oh, ground level. The little fellas from Tiger Land are absolutely dominating proceedings. Great work here, sees now an opportunity for Timmy Gardner. He's got an opportunity to drive it to centre half forward. In front there was uh, Wolfenden, knocked away from him by Tajani. Loose ball at centre half forward. Umpire said, Give it to me, and we'll have a bounce down. Time check, Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock shows 12 and a half minutes gone of the second quarter, margin 53 points the way of the Tigers. That's one of the good things about having um, Christian McFarlane in the centre. He can take a ruck knockout as well if there's a bad bounce. Bounce kicked down by uh, Timmy Gardner. Christian Smith, who I said uh, early in the piece, can play any key position. He's taken a mark in the, right, uh, the left forward pocket, uh, 35 metres out on a 45 degree angle and really should drill this. Not a problem. Uh, you know, our ball players around the ball, Christian Highland's been very good. Timmy Gardner now starting to mount up his possession rate. Uh, the um, Neville Whitley medalist from last year as Christian Smith comes in straight at the goals. Left foot kick, and it has come back beautifully a goal. Lovely goal there, but it all stemmed once again from the work in the midfield and the rushing of the ball forward. Uh, these boys in the centre are really fairly dominant uh, at the moment, and the, and the game's slipping away from uh, from North Geelong. When well, to be, sorry to be cruel, to be kind, Johnny, but it, it has slipped completely. You know, I wouldn't say that yet. The old uh, magpies, they've got a bit of fight in them, but... Uh, 
you know, the Thompson Tigers are in fairly rare form at the moment. They've been very good over the last six weeks and uh, are mounting a charge at the Premiership, I would say. 59 point advantage, and let's have a look. We've been travelling. We're 13 minutes gone to the second quarter. Ominous signs for the Thompson Tigers. As we see now, North Geelong in a rear attack. Stewie Marty up to half forward. Loose ball now. Bounce. Three Thompson players there, but the hand pass from Stein was intercepted well there by Cummings, but going back in after Burke was good to Atchison to Nan Curtis, a chain of hand passes to the running withers, who's kicked the half four, though couldn't find Humphrey and Christian Owens takes a nice grab for the pie. So a good job, Owens is out there to Hutchison, but he got a bad bounce, so did JJ coming through was uh, McDermott, who'd done very very well there to come through but the whistle's blown and the umpire's paid a free kick i think mcdermott's hurt his leg actually thompson free kick we seem to be getting a fair run from the umpire but i suppose ron when you're in in first for the football you do get uh Make those it. uh free kicks yeah you certainly do john and uh well christian island again's got one for high so uh it's taken a bit of a disliking to Christian Island, haven't they? Sorry. Well, I can understand that because he averages about 35 positions a week. He had 54 on Saturday, last Saturday, so uh, he's done a fair job. Well, great effort. And to, a long kick to half forward. Lunchy at the back of the pack. Lost the footy. Good hands there. Withers knocked the ball away from Henderson. Loose ball sees Evans, the big ruckman, pivot like a little rover. But the ball doesn't carry. And Robinson, their last line of defence, takes the footy. Marnie was in the back pocket loose. Hand passes to him. He kicks to Whitteson, was good. Oh, key under pressure. Back to Owens was OK. But the kick, an absolute shocker from Christian Owens, marked by Mickey Gann. Mickey Gann kicks the ball into centre-half forward. Spoiled by Polder over Evans. Uh, ball's kicked back, a scrambly kick. Uh, number 27, who is Jamie Cummings again, has got the footy, kicked it down towards Dale Menzies. Dale Menzies and his North Geelong opponent running for the ball. Naylor gathers the ball on the right half forward flank, kicks it in. Stein's got the run here. Hutchison chased him. Stein with a, oh. a left foot chip over to Terry Nankervis. He's covering a huge am amount of ground. Terry Nankervis under the right foot, kicks into Humphreys. Humphreys has it spoiled by his North Geelong opponent. Burns attacks it hard, but we've got Highland in there. Highland running through the centre of the ground. Little kick over. Shane... Withers again, sees Timmy Gardner free. Timmy Gardner holds it up, gets around Burns with strength. Beautiful, Timmy. Two oh. tackles. He just brushed them aside. And Withers goes down again, and so does Ireland. They're going down like nine pins here. Yeah, well. There's a bit of a dust up there, but it doesn't matter, fellas. Just get on with the well, game. Craig Wolford is just letting Ray Robertson yeah. know that you don't do those things. That's fair enough. Robbo, you're not a, you, you know, you're a seasoned player, and he probably had to pay a professional free kick, but Craig, on the other hand, had to come in and remonstrate a little bit. Yes, certainly. Nothing serious. No. Actually, Robertson, a little stiff. It wasn't... A malice tackle. No, a no, high. no. They just picked his ears up from the uh, Godfrey Street side <laughs> there, eating that up. <laughs> ball spills down to the top to the half forward line. Evans takes the ball out of the ruck and kicks on his right foot and it rolls over the line and out of bounds. So we'll check, Johnny, just quickly. 9 9 63 Thompson. North Geelong, four points. Time check, 16 and a half minutes gone in the second quarter. Yes, uh, that tackle, Ron, that wasn't uh, high, they've just sent, uh, sent uh, Withers off with the blood rule. So he must hit his head on the ground as he landed, I think. <laughs> ball, uh, ball now is a left forward pocket, I believe. It's all in the game, mate. They're playing a good game of footy, and there, there will be clashes that happen. That uh, and there was really nothing in that. There was no no malice in it, as you said. This youngster too, very stiff to be out of the 18. He's, Mike. A, he's not a bad player. He um, he uh, is you know Aaron only Bradley, a boy. Aaron Bradley. He's only a boy and. Uh, Good size, good size, and, you know, he's grown up a lot this year, Aaron. He's uh, very good for the club. Good to have good young talent, isn't it? Yeah, coming up through the ranks. So yeah. Credit to the Thompson Sporting Club. Thrown in in the right forward pocket. Nice knockdown by Smith. North Geelong take it away through Skoko. Skoko's kick is picked up by... Oh, don't tell me. No, by McFarlane. McFarlane snaps at goal and uh, once again a minor score. Very Great close then. Good effort on his wrong foot. It was a good effort. The ball stalked free and he was uh, agile enough to pick it up and uh, snap for goal. Uh, North Geelong, yeah, just struggling a little bit at the minute. But, uh, you know, let's hope they uh, rally and uh, make a bit of a game of this. Well, 60 points to the margin here. 
15 minutes gone of the second quarter. Swinnison, long ball, good ball too. Out looking for uh, Robertson. Couldn't hold the overhead mark. Ball spills. Harris has been terrific. Has Goes been inboard. Finds his teammate there in Hennison, who's long kick out right across the member's side of the ground. Oh, was he being held down, Curtis? No, said the umpire. Burns is in there over the top of the footy, being dragged off it by Timmy Gardner. And so the axe just tucks the jumper back in. He ripped it off him, did Timmy. He's a good player, the axe. You know, he gives it and takes it, and so does Timmy. They're good, hard, on-ball players. Ball goes up in the air. Evans jumps again. It's won then by Robertson from North Geelong. Mickey Gann uh, put his body in then. Comes out to Pat Burns. Burns, good kick to uh, Naylor, who's been fairly impressive up there, but they haven't been able to get any further. Uh, been very good. Uh, Harris is marking him at the moment. Up-country kick. Stein attacks it hard. Ball bounces past him. North Geelong are in uh, possession here. Good tackle. No, not a good tackle. Too high. <coughs> Free kick paid on the uh, half forward line to the North Geelong player, Marty Wooderson. And Marty has another opportunity to register North Geelong's first goal. Yeah, and a badly needed one too. As the Bannockburn Sporting Trophy's time clock has now moved on to 19 and a half minutes. And uh, of the second quarter... And Cowan's are back on the ground for Thompson, and that's a pleasing sight. As uh, Whitteson has handballed the ball to Schwinnison, who's had a flying shot at goal. I think he's just no, missed. left. Another minor screw on the board for the North Geelong side. Off the boot of Timmy Schwinnison, moves them to five points. And uh, Thompson, nine goals, 10-64. Uh, the ball's kicked to uh, Dale Menzies, who's taking the kick out, kicks it to himself and then drives it long towards the Terry Nankervis direction, who just nudges uh, the axe out of, out of play. Nankervis, with his deception, exceptional pace, runs the ball across the half forward line. He's in there again, and Burns blocks his run and gets a free kick for in the back. It's on the half-back half line for the north along side. Burns comes in board, finds Swinnison. Swinnison takes the mark, handballs over. We've got Cummings running towards the ball. We've got Lunchbox Gardner on his hammer. His pace is good. Hutchison in for the football. Gardner and Hutchison collide. And a good tackle by Burke on Lewis. And uh, a fair passage of play from both sides. Some good endeavour showed by all, all players. Yes, yeah, certainly was. And uh, Lunchy just did not take his eyes off the footy. It was good. No, good he's got good toe, Lunchy. He's very good. Ball comes thrown in. Evans... And Robertson in the ruck. Good knock to Gardner. Gardner over to Highland. Highland gets it inboard to uh, Ricky Humphreys, who takes a chest mark. Uh, good work then from the ruckman. Been very good. Hum he comes inside Humphreys to McFarlane, who is in the right position, but the ball spills off his hands. Good spoil by his North Geelong opponent, which is uh, Stuart Maloney, and uh, it is a point. Thompson really could have this game wrapped up, Ron, if they uh, had a kick straight. 9-11, 65 to 5 Behind five points. Margin out again to 60 points. 21 and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. Bankburn Sporting Trophy's time clock. Hannison goes out wide. Looks up there for his teammate. Flies in front. Couldn't take the footy. Pack and plays a form line out of side. Half back uh, flank for North Geelong. Like Stewie Marnie who uh, didn't take the overhead mark. And uh, um, by Noel Hooper will bounce down. Thompson doing the attacking. Evans again. Fisted away there by Schwinnison was good, but it's gone straight to Justin. Justin, he's left foot kick, a beauty. Sees David Burke at centre half forward, take the footy. Kick plays on, but it was well smothered there by, uh, that was Coulter, as uh, the ball now driven out of uh, the, the defensive side uh, for North. Opportunity here for the, uh, with the new boy on the ground, number 15. Haven't seen him for a while. That was Brett Lewis. Had a couple of bounces. Oh, great tackle at the goal square, Mark Harris. Certain goal went begging there from the boot of that youngster as he's pulling his boot back on, and uh, there was been no score at all. It was a great effort. It wasn't only Mark Harris' tackle in the goal square, but the effort of Aaron Bradley to run some 60 metres in a chase and nearly run the, and get his hands on the player to bring him just down as he scrubbed the kick. It was sensational stuff then from all concerned. Ball gets thrown in the uh, right forward pocket over the top. Over the top for North Geelong goes Robertson, who snaps for goal and is touched off Jeez, the boot. That would, have, that would have been the goal. Yeah, it was Robertson. a great effort, Robertson, then. Well, only know. for Dale Menzies on the last line of defence. Just got a handle on it. It would have been a certain goal. They are. They're not even much luck, North Geelong. But Dale Menzies kicks long in the Terry Nankervis direction. Bounce of the ball evades him. Knocked back by North Geelong. We've got Christian Highland in there who handballs the ball forward and just runs out of bounds. Good work there by all concerned in that last passage of play, Ron. It just shows what spirit the game's played in.
Yes, certainly is a very good team effort from the Thompson point of view. Robertson and uh, Evans do battle again. Robertson starting to lift his work rate a little, but uh, no help at ground level. Quick kick off the carpet there was from uh, young Bradley, but it's well marked Malcolm Key at centre wing for the North Geelong side. Ball's kicked out by Key over to Swinnerson. Swinnerson drives it in with the left foot towards the full forward line. Naylor up high, but the ball Atchison. punched away once again by Atchison, who's very, very good at that. He's, uh, he seems to know when to mark and when to punch. Uh, very good team player, Atchison. He's just been felled. No, he fell over. Well, I said he's just been felled. He's been knocked out five times this year off the ball, so uh, <laughs> he knows how to take a pound. Uh, ball comes in, and good tackle by the North Geelong player and a high tackle by the Thompson player, and it's on over there. Nothing much in it, just a high tackle. He bounced off the ground. Been a few high tackles in this game, but they're just pushing and showing. There's not too much in the involved in the incident. The umpires come in and break it up. Uh, there will be a free kick play. I think that North Geelong player is uh, in a little bit of strife down there, Ronnie. He hasn't moved a great deal. He bounced on the ground pretty hard. I think that the hardness of the ground has done the damage. And, yeah. uh, it's quite silly that the, the North Geelong players are, are continuing because I don't think it was so much the impact no. of the, the player. It was when he hit the ground as, uh, as uh, well, dazed the... Uh, North Geelong player in Mark Burns. Yeah, they, well. they're still pushing and shoving over there. Why don't they get on with the game? Like I mean, so the bloke's up. He's going to have his free kick. Well, uh, what the umpire should do is uh, call the captain or the nearest player to the uh, incident and get him to kick at goal. That's exactly right. Get That's the play underway. I think you'll find there won't even be a 50-metre penalty. I think it was just in the act of play. And he did hit the ground hard, but, you know, I just can't, uh, can't understand why they're continuing on. But they've stopped now. Player on the mark's got his hands in the air. Nothing much in it, and uh, yeah, it's all just part of the game, unfortunately. OK, well, looks like young Hutchison. Yeah, I think Burns got felled. I think Burns was the one that got tackled. Yep. And uh, I think Hutchison is going to take the kick. I can't see Burnsy. Where is he? Mark Burns, the long sleeve Guernsey. Uh, he's given it to Swinnerson from a handball. Swinnerson shot at goal and has missed everything. It's out of bounds on the fall. So, uh, you know, let's get on with the game, I say. Yep. Yes, yeah, certainly is uh, just waiting now on Dale Menzies to bring the ball back into play. North Geelong just can't buy a goal at the moment. Time check shows 25 and a half minutes gone of the second quarter. Long kick there from Menzies, a beauty. Quick hands, McFarlane was good to guard. A good tackle there by, uh, that was Shane Burns. But Mark Burns recovered well. Hand pass to Nala was good, but oh, courage going back with the flight of the footy. David Burke takes a great grab for the Tigers. Uh, Burke has the ball in the uh, right forward pocket, kicks across goal towards, and it's on again at centre forward towards Harris. If these umpires don't grab hold of this game, it's going to go uh, get out of hand. It's kicked down towards the half-forward line where Humphreys takes the ball. He's tackled by uh, his North Geelong opponent in uh, Harrington. He's been very, very good, but there's a lot of pushing and shoving at 10 half forward. I don't know whether uh, they're just trying to test each other out or not, but uh, Marty Whitteson, there's not much good trying to push Timmy Gardner, Marty. Just keep getting the footy. Yeah, I think that's the sensible thing because you know, both sides have got uh, opportunities for finals appearances and uh, be sure to get rubbed out now, wouldn't it? It certainly would be. Uh, there's North Geelong attack and a nice right foot kick towards goal, but there's none of the North Geelong players there. Dale means he's having a field day. Kicks across to the half-forward line. Uh, Pat Burns up behind Timmy Gardner, grabs hold of the ball, picks it up, off, off, gives it off on hands, bad handball. Polt is in there. Good work, young fella. Puts his body in over the ball. Ball spills free, Stein. Oh, they've gone for Stein in there. But anyway, he just keeps his eye on the ball, and the umpire has made the most ridiculous uh, decision I've ever seen, but he's probably concerned that uh, it's going to get out of hand and play a free kick for hole in the ball. He was the only one going for it. And uh, that's probably... Copped a high tackle yeah, initially. Initially copped a high tackle, and that's probably a poor decision. But it doesn't matter. But like, uh, like spectators, uh, like coaches, uh, umpires get rattled too. Yep, and I think that might be the case at the minute. But anyway, the North Geelong player comes in for his shot at goal. I can't quite see who it is, uh, Ronnie. Can you pick that? Let's have a look. It looks like uh, the 53 Guernsey in Jamie Weiss. Jamie Weiss. He's had a couple of shots on goal. Comes in with the right foot and kicks. And I'm not sure. The umpire got right under that. And it is a goal. North Geelong's first goal. So it has taken North Geelong... 28 minutes. 28 minutes in the second, second quarter. quarter to score their first goal. Now, we'll see what the Thompson players are made of here. I think what's got to happen, 
is that they've just got to concentrate on the football yep. and not be sucked into any silly play. And uh, the best place to hurt an opposing team is on the scoreboard, Ron. Yeah, good call, Johnny. And the score is on the uh, GDFL Bingo Centre scoreboard, 9-11-65 to 1-6-12. North Geelong have uh, made a change. Joe McDermott back on and Brett Lewis going off for the, the uh, pies. Back to the centre we go. Infringement, Robinson against Evans, too high. And Evans, only one thing in his mind, and that's for the footy. I think Ray's uh, trying to exert some physical pressure on the game, and he's doing that. And uh, whilst... Uh, oh, anyway, the ball was kicked down towards centre-half back and a North Geelong mark. What would you say about that one, Ron? Oh, I thought it was play on. <laughs> he got up very high, didn't he? <laughs> Good effort. Good but, effort. Uh, you don't pay marks for effort. Oh, you probably don't, but anyway, it's easy to sit. I suppose it's an easy game sitting here, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Balls fills. Oh, this umpire's made three decisions in the last three minutes that uh, have been fairly costly. Another one, uh, another free kick there for... Well, uh, now, the funny thing was, the umpires paid the advantage yeah. when Mark Burns picked it up. Mark Burns didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, dearie me. OK, let's see what's happened. Stewie Marnie it was. Stewie Long Marnie time. kicks in and Evans once again takes a strong mark at centre half back. Okay. Uh, goes back uh, looking for a lead. Comes out to the right hand side, the uh, club room side. McFarlane's got two players on good him. Mark. A good mark from the North Geelong player there. Very good mark. David Tajani, it is. David Tajani, good job. Kicks it in. Gardner punches it away over to McFarlane. McFarlane gives it in. <laughs> You're in trouble, young fella. You're supposed to have prior opportunity, umpire. That is the third bad decision in a row, or the fourth, sorry. No, sorry, it was Noel Looper then. Punched away by Aitchison. Ball comes out to the wing. Run to the boundary line. Hutchison gets it. Run to the boundary line. Uh, forced free. Forced across in front of the toilet block, which has uh, been at Thompson ever since I was a young boy, Ron. And it's very handy for us commentators right here. Very good I'll toilet block there. Ball thrown in, and uh, Evans once the game in front's position. Polter down over the ball. Good effort, young fellow. Gets it out to Cummings. Cummings handballs it to Swinnerson. Swinnerson over to Hutchison. Hutchison's free now. One bounce. Tries to take on Timmy Gardner. Does so. Steps inside him. Kicks it into Key. Key runs on. Right foot kick. Finds Burns. Burns out in front of Burns. Burns runs onto the footy. Burke in hot pursuit. Good shepherd. Good shepherd there by uh, Harrington. Harrington provided... Uh, uh, Burns with a clear passage to goal and he's fired with his left boot and it has gone through for one behind. Good passage to play by the North Geelong players then. They uh, created a bit of space for themselves and uh, have uh, worked the ball forward and unfortunately for them they only scored a point. The fact was they were running. They were very good. They were forward of the ball. They were very good then. There was a good passage to play. This young boy impresses me, young Hutchison. Good player. Yeah, good skills. Berkey brings the ball back into play for Thompson. Looks to Atchison. Back of the pack support. Held off the ball. And uh, again, going to be in front, Timmy Schwinnison. And it's uh, against him. And Aaron Bradley will get the free kick for the Thompson side at left half back for the Tigers. A lovely kick, two to half forward. Looks in front, Christian Smith. Couldn't get the both hands on the footy. Loose ball sees Matty Pole to pick up. Quick hands there to McDermott was OK. McDermott's kick to Robinson, centre of the ground. Oh, half hearted. Dropped the sitter. Evans recovers well and kicks the centre half forward, and that man then curves again. Very good player, Terry. He's been a good player for such a long period of time, you know. And uh, he just does play the footy well. Good work then by uh, Ricky Humphreys. Give it out to uh, Christian Highland. Highland gives it across to McFarlane. McFarlane inboard to Highland, who's running very, very good onto Wolfram. Wolfram kicks that goal and hits the post. Yeah. That's a gift. That he missed then, an yeah. absolute gift. It certainly was. He's just blotted his copy book. Yeah, he Wolf certainly has. He kicked there. two straight and uh, two goals won there. Yeah, he should have kicked that. That was a gift. Uh, but good play once again. You know, Nankervis in the middle of the play. Uh, quick hands by the Thompson players. They're creating uh, a little bit of space for themselves and working very hard. GDFL bingo set up second quarter scoreboard. Thompson, 9-12-66. Lead North Geelong, 1-7-13. Uh, and uh, just about siren time. We've been going, Johnny, 32 minutes in the second quarter. 32 minutes. The ball comes from the foot. Kick out. Skoko kicks the ball long uh, to the wing. Ball's taken by a North Geelong player who I can't see there. Bounce, bounce. Ball. There's Hutchison again. He's picked it up in very fine fashion. It's been brought down by Mickey Gann and paid for dropping the ball. Great it's, tackle. Mickey Gann's having a good game, uh, Ronnie. It's, and it's good to see Mickey. He's been doing a good job for a long time over here. He grabs the ball and uh, kicks long down the wing in the Smith direction. Smith up. Good body. Highland at the back. Pats it over to, to Humphreys. Humphreys over to Justin. Justin. 
JJ puts his body in. Good work, JJ. Good hard attack on, attack on the ball. Picks it up, handballs it out. Highland starting to have an influence. Over to Nankervis. Nankervis shoots for goal on his right foot. And once again, another minor score. The Thompson players, Plugger's not very happy there. He's standing in the, in the goal square on his own. I wouldn't be too happy either. No, right? good movement of the ball, but once again, bad finishing. So uh, the, the thing about the game is that uh, North Geelong came hard at Thompson physically, and I think Thompson have steadied a little bit, but the only thing they're not doing is scoring. The GDFL bingo centre scoreboard in the second quarter is 9-13-67 to 1-7-13. Swinnison takes the ball from fullback, kicks to himself, then long out to the half-forward flank. Evans up from the back, spoils. McFarland takes position of the ball, handballs it out, but there's a North Geelong player... Had his jumper yeah. tackle from the back and pulled over his head. But too high. Okay, it's uh, Robbie Henderson, Henderson uh, goes out wide. Malcolm Key takes the footy yeah. in front of Ian Evans at the side centre wing to drive for North Geelong into attack, and uh, that's what they need now. He just goes short. Hutchison provided that opportunity. He plays on quickly to Matty Polder as the siren sounds to terminate the first half of football here at Godfrey Street. Uh, Johnny, the GDFL bingo centre half time scoreboard. Well, quite a pleasing one from a Thompson point of view. Yes, it certainly is, uh, Ron. Uh, I think, um, you know, this was a real danger game for us. And, and look, whilst it's not over yet, uh, with a score line on the GDFL Centre bingo scoreboard of 9-13-67 to 1-7-13, North Geelong have to do a lot of work to get back in this game. And if Thompson come out in the same frame of mind as they did in the first quarter, I, uh, you know, I can only see them going on to a, to a strong wind. Wind, but... You know, football's a funny game, Ron, as we all know. Time will tell. Country FM is country football. Back shortly. With